Hey guys, how's it going? So, in this video, we're going to be talking about Tesla partnering up with AMD for a new self-driving chip. And it's a rumor right now, and I, I had a video from uh, Electrify that I share with you. He did a you know pretty good video about it. I mean, it's fair right of use, right? So, and I'm just playing the specifically the part where he talks about AMD possibly partnering up with Tesla and then I'll share my thoughts about it right after the video Interesting one. So I wanted to put it out there It comes from a pretty reliable source that said quote Tesla wants to use Navi 23 for their cars end quote now Stick with me for the next few minutes as I try to unpack all of this for starters Patrick Shore is a software engineer who usually leaks specs on AMD engineering samples and according to the chip community, he's typically spot on. Navi 23 is a GPU that could be used to power Tesla's infotainment system. Tesla Arcade and Tesla Toybox have apparently been held back by Tesla's current infotainment chip from Intel. The Toybox is basically the simple gags and tricks like the digital whoopee cushion, the wood burning fire, karaoke, etc. But that said, this would have much further reaching applications than simply games and tricks. Navi 23 would come from AMD or Advanced Micro Devices. They are a chip, aka GPU, CPU, APU maker that has been absolutely on fire over the last year and a stock to look at, but that's another topic. And by the way, an APU is just an accelerated processing unit, meaning it has a CPU and GPU on the same chip. A big part of their success has been their new leader, Lisa Su. This chick is one of the most respected leaders on the planet, no hyperbole. She really is an amazing CEO from everything that I've read, and the results are speaking for themselves. Let's take a quick listen to her chat with Jim Cramer that took place October 28th about their recent $35 billion acquisition of Xilinx. You'll understand why shortly. Are these markets and markets ones that, you're, that you want to be in? Do you want to be in automotive? Yes, so um, absolutely. So when you look, um, our, our base AMD, you know, TAM or market opportunity is about 80 billion, right? Great markets, big markets, um, you know, they, they move. Uh, they move, uh, you know, quickly and well. Uh, when you add Xilinx, what you add is, uh, first of all, we're both still very focused on the data center, so that's the number one priority um, of the company. Uh, but they bring, you know, a great, um, you know, communications, uh, you know, 5G um, capability. Uh, they also uh, bring, you know, as you said, automotive. Um, that's a market that we haven't been in, but that market needs um, our technology as well. So it's clear Lisa wants to make waves in the automotive space, a task their most recent acquisition can and will help them with. And it's very important to note this chip would be entirely separate from Tesla's in-house full self-driving computer. This rumor, if true, would be for the infotainment system or their MCU media control unit. As you can see, Pat responded to a few tweets reiterating this point. The Model 3 currently uses an Intel Atom processor for the MCU too. So this is what powers gaming, navigation, streaming, basically everything through the user interface. So as Tesla continues to add new features to their infotainment, setting up for a full self-driving future, it will continually use more power. An upgrade to this processor would theoretically improve visualizations on the screen, especially for gaming, a place where we know Elon wants to add more options. So this processor chip game is all about efficiency, processing power, and performance per watt. Basically, if there's a chip out there that's more powerful, we know there are, that can run specific tasks well, AMD is known to collaborate with their partners, that can also reduce the power used to save on range and overall efficiency without being cost prohibitive, there would be no reason for Tesla not to make a move like this as long as the volume of supply is there, which by all speculation seems to be the case. So you may be sitting there saying to yourself, well, Tesla already has a very smooth high resolution media unit and you are right. But if Tesla is planning something like a more advanced full self-driving visualization, say for example, 3D maps or a 4K display, a new, more powerful chip would certainly make logical sense. If you're curious about the specs of Navi 23, I've linked to an article below. We got some more details about Starlink's performance specific. So I, when I heard that news, um, I was pretty excited. But uh, AMD stock is down right now, 30, 83, 12. I feel like 
AMD has so much potential to be such a giant company. AMD would have been one of the greatest long-term investment of all time if you bought this thing at two bucks and just held it for five years. Uh, because I think the stock is heading higher. Seriously, I seriously think that the stock is heading higher. And if the rumor is true with with Tesla, this stock could easily break a hundred dollars. Easily, easily break a hundred dollars, even with the merger between Xilinx and Xilinx is it is in the automotive space. So it wouldn't surprise me if Tesla partnered up with AMD to make you know a, a new brand new like a brand new chip for both self driving and you know visualization because AMD can handle both like and uh Tesla is always Elon Musk is always looking at how to make his cars better how to make his car more user friendly and you know AMD's in so many markets, they can basically be in the you know, everyone in this world has a computer. Everyone. Like everyone every single person in this world either has, you know, some sort of computer that is either Intel or AMD based. Uh like I can't really think of anyone that doesn't have a computer, have their own personal computer. Like uh in my house, we have like three computers, four computers actually we have five computers and I'm I mean I imagine that like on this planet in every single house every single person has at least one computer and a smartphone everybody has a computer and a smartphone and you know and on top of that uh, there's the server market that AMD can attack and then there's the self-driving car industry that AMD can attack and there's the 5g network that AMD will can can possess, uh, potentially get into. So AMD has a huge huge market uh, out there, and then there's the gaming consoles. It's not as big as a revenue, but it's important to AMD because developers are forced to develop for these uh, these uh, APUs that are in the both the PlayStation Five and the Xbox One or the Xbox Series X and Series S. Uh, so AMD, you know, to me feels like it should be valued way higher than Nvidia, or at least on the level of Nvidia, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's really all I really have to say. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't move the markets. Uh, I, you know, it takes billions of dollars to move AMD stock. I mean, just to move AMD stock one dollar is about one. Point two billion dollars, and then once the merger with Xilinx, it's about one point five or one point six billion dollars to move AMD stock. Just one dollar. So AMD is quite heavily diluted, and it takes big, big money to move AMD stock. So I can't really tell you where AMD stock is gonna go because I don't know what big money will do at the end of the day, but. Big money moves AMD stock because it requires a lot of money to move AMD stock. So, anyways, that's all I really have to say in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.